March 2nd, Blessed Charles the Good. Charles was the son of Saint Canute, King of Denmark. His father was murdered when Charles was of age five, and his mother took him to the court of her father, the Count of Flanders. Charles became a knight and accompanied his uncle on the Second Crusade to recover the Holy Land from the Moors. He also fought with him against the English. Upon his return, he received the County of Flanders from his cousin Baldwin. Count Charles had a profound love for justice. Every day after dinner, he would meet with three theologians who would explain two or three chapters of scriptures, lessons to which he listened with great pleasure. He loved God's name so much that he forbade any of his subjects to blaspheme or take the name of God in vain. The punishment for blaspheming was a fast of forty days of only bread and water. His love for justice made him the terror of evildoers who oppressed the poor, exploited widows, and persecuted the orphans. Charles became so well loved and respected that he was pressured to assume the imperial throne when it was vacated. Charles proclaimed peace, citing the truce of God and putting to an end the frequent fighting and violence in the country. He lived without the typical pomp and luxury of royalty of the times, instead streamlining and downsizing his government to better provide for the poor. He decreased taxes on the poor and increased wages. When nobles, whose lifestyles were hurt by these decrees, complained, he kindly answered them, saying, It is because I am so aware of the needs of the poor and the pride of the rich. Every day the poor and the hungry in his kingdom were fed at his castles, especially when the great famine fell across the counties in the year 1125. As a sign of his daily penance, Charles went barefoot and wore clothing of peasants. He attended Mass each day, relying on the priests and clergy he encountered to correct his laws if they violated the teachings of the scriptures. So convinced of the power of forgiveness, Charles established that all convicted criminals sentenced to death were to confess and receive communion on the day preceding the execution of the sentence. Eventually, Charles the Good angered enough of his noblemen that they hatched a plot to rid themselves of the do-gooder. The Count, who used to go every morning barefoot to pray before Mass, was warned one day, as he was starting, that there was a conspiracy on foot against him. He replied, We are always in the midst of dangers, but we belong to God. If it is his will, can we die in a better cause than that of justice and truth? As he was saying the miserere before the altar of Our Lady in the church, he was set upon by the conspirators. His arm was cut off by one of them, and his head cloven by another. The relics of the martyr are preserved in the cathedral of Bruges, and his festival is observed with great solemnity. He was beatified in the year 1884.